Hi everyone, it's just me. I've just got home and I've got some really, really, really good news. I got the job as a mobile carer. Um, it will be working for a private agency called uh, Bluebird, which um, they're just fantastic. The staff are amazing and yeah, just so much better than so many of those um, caring agencies out there. Um, so yes, um, I did that today since I went there at 9.30 till 3.30. Um, it was just like an introduction, so we just covered some basic things like dementia, uh, what the company's all about, you know, just pretty much just care. But it was really good. Um, uh, there were five other girls that were really lovely. Um, so we had a good old chat and natter and of course my um, gastric bypass kind of came into it and everyone was like ooh and ah and amazed and you know you're doing so well and what was it like and yeah they've just been really 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 good so yep it was very good um, I got my uniform I'm wearing it now this is not my real uniform um, they, I kind of said to them there's no point me getting my size because I will go down and a down and it will kind of cost them more money in the long run because they have to keep on supplying me with um, uniforms. So basically I just want to go for one size and be able to wear it as it gets baggy and baggy until I'm at my uh, goal weight, whatever that is. Um, and then I'm just hoping to get, only have to have two uniforms. Anyway, so I told them what my size was which I said I would like a 28, even though I'm a 26, because be on the safe side. And um, they said if they had to get the uniform, they would have to have it specially made, which sounds really horrible, but it, I'm big. Like I said, I am big. So when you do have health carers, they're normally no bigger than a size 18, I would have thought. So to ask for a size 28 it's no surprise that they would have to have it specially made uh, it would cost the the guy who owns it the franchise more money and it just would be no point in it because i won't fit in it for long and i doubt very much that some you know size 28 carer is going to walk in after me it's not going to happen so i'm wearing this um man's uniform which is darker the female one is like a light blue and um, I wear sleeves. Reason being, you know, I have to be professional in my job and I, I'm totally aware of that. But tattoos are not always the best thing when you are dealing with elderly because they can get scared, you know, like you're a thug or something. Which I doubt very much because as you can see, it's flowers. I doubt that I'm going to whack you around your head with flowers, you know. It's sort of it's not intimidating but for the older generation don't forget there's some people that are like 100 years old and they just won't like tattoos so i've got the tattoo on my neck but i'm growing my hair so it's kind of covering it so you can just see a bit um i've got believe there i don't know if you can see that and that, the, that one there the flower one which is really visible so I have to cover it up but of course if I'm caring for the elderly uh, or the client at the time and I have to wash them I do have to pull up my sleeves it's going to be ridiculous to get soaking wet just so they can't see it um, but anyway ooh, I'm going to show you the uniform well the the top um, is the uniform of course the jeans aren't I'm kind of improvising or trying to make it more you know fashionable uh, but I'm supposed to be wearing dark shoes, um, no trainers, and dark trousers. So, um, and hopefully when I lose a bit more weight, this will be light blue with the white. And I look really nice and crisp and nice. Anyway, let me just move the chair back. Anyway. I look like a caretaker. It just does not look feminine at all. I look like... I'm going to, I don't know, change a light bulb or something, but, you know, it's not very feminine, it doesn't really go in or show some curves or, you know, it's very masculine, 
but this is a man's um, a man's t-shirt, so they're not really going to be going in and feminine, are they, for a man? But at least it's on, and it's got the sign, new bird. But yeah, once again, that's the uniform. Swivel, swivel, swivel. But and I bought this myself from Land's End. So, as you can see, it's quite nice. <laughs> my uniform, my uniform looks so butch. I look like a lesbian. I know. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I did today. I got a job literally four weeks after my gastric bypass and I'm doing well. I'm doing really, really, really good. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's all I have to say for today. Um, and that's about it really. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say. I had yoghurt, everyone else was eating like beautiful sandwiches and I had a yoghurt and um, I didn't like it, I did, I mean I didn't want the sandwich, I was feeling a little bit sick as in hungry but I only had like three spoons because I knew that I wasn't going to, it's a long day so I mixed a uh, complan which is a nutritional milkshake with a yoghurt to get double calories um, I had three spoons, maybe four, and I've still got loads. I've still got it in here. Okay, I, think. I can't even find it. There it is. I just haven't eaten it. But, um, but yeah, except for that, it was a really good day, and everything is starting to look really good and look up, and... I'm just so pleased. Oh, this whole dating thing. I'm seven minutes twenty-five. I'm gonna make this another long vlog. This whole dating thing. There are some real weirdos <laughs> out there on the internet. Like, I spoke to one person and he was so shy. It was unbelievable. And the thing is, in the end, I said to him, it wasn't his shyness. I could have gone around that and that wasn't a problem. He wasn't a bad looking guy, whatever, sort of thing. But I, you know, is it me? But he just wasn't, they don't, if, if a guy doesn't text you, I mean, he would just text me once in the evening and that was it. And I was like, and he's after a relationship. And I said to him, I said, I'm really sorry, but I think you're just after a, girl, uh, a girlfriend for your convenience when you want someone. And I'm afraid it doesn't work like that. If you like someone, you have to talk to them more. Anyway, so I'm no longer talking to him. But funny enough, when I said that to him, he said, oh, I'm shocked by this. And before I knew it, he deleted me off Facebook. He took me off Oasis. I mean, <laughs> it was quite something. I was someone who says, I'm so shocked by the matter. He was like, bam, he just like swiped me off everything. I was like, fair enough, not a problem. Then I spoke to this other person uh, from Plenty of Fish. He didn't uh, have a picture on his profile. He didn't really have that much. Yet he was harassing me, saying, tell me more about you. And I was like, it's all on my profile. I have lots about me on my profile. And I said, I find it very odd that um, you ask a lot about me, yet you don't say anything about yourself. And the fact that I've asked you for your picture more than three times and you're avoiding it. That's all I said. Do you know what my reply was? Um, fuck you, uh, I'm not having you speak to me like that. I was just like, what is happening? Have I gone into a different time warp or something? There's just nutters out there. And you know what? I think dating is out. There, I just can't be, I can't be asked. The hassle of weirdos. So, if Mr. Prince Charming is out there, I should tell you where I live and you can come and knock on my door. <laughs> And then that's the only way I'm going to find Mr. Right. Because I tell you, he's not on the internet. He really is not. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Because um, I am keep on talking. And I'm sure I'm going to waffle on about some more crap. I'm sorry if I'm swearing a lot in this vlog. It's not really like me as such. But anyway, 
Um, thanks for watching my vlog and I'm so pleased once again that I got a job. Really, really pleased. Oh, and I'm going to upload another vlog in a minute later. I'm going to take a film. I got a new vivarium. I travelled like over an hour and it actually kind of blends in with my other vivarium and it looks great. And then on Sunday, I'm getting my new snake. I'm getting my male um, albino Carl coral. Um, boa snake so I'm really really excited I'll be getting him um, and today I have to go and get another vivarium which is smaller because I've got to put my um, albino ball python in that so my room is looking like a reptile shop but you know what I love it I absolutely love it my mum hates it she says I would feel claustrophobic you know what I think it's fantastic just to lay in bed and I'm just surrounded by not just snakes but I just love it I just really really like it maybe it's just me maybe I've got a screw loose I don't know but I think it's great anyway I'm gonna go now I uh, keep saying that but I am gonna go now anyway thank you for watching my vlogs I love you all and I'll speak to you soon <laughs> all right bye